Hi guys, welcome to Josh's Ski Hacks episode two. Today's hack is going to be how to navigate uh, luge out woods. Woods that are so skied out that you get these giant luge tracks that you can see right there. And again, it's thin cover in these right now, so it's kind of uh, working for, to my advantage. There's rocks in these loose tracks. We don't want to hit the rock. We want to be able to control our speed. And how do you do that? Uh, the main tactic slash skill that I use is I uh, kind of break one of the cardinal rules of all good technical skiing, which is that our legs turn underneath hips. And I actually turn my hips to get my feet totally even on that loose track. And I, I do that so that I can have a good controlled side slip while I'm actually facing back up the hill. And then I go ahead and I twist my body completely the other way before the next one starts. So that lets me control my speed and control my direction better in these loose tracks and trying to ride them out like a zipper line because they're quite often cut so steeply that you won't have any control. So I'll give you, give you an example now. And again, it's just both my feet are going to be right up on the ridge. And I'm literally going to be turned almost up the hill as I do so. And it's about the only time I can ever think that I ever turn my hips this far up the hill while I still try to maintain some shoulder counter. So, here it goes. Yeah, so the reason why you want your hips to twist and not your shoulders is because we want to get our feet roughly lined up on these ridges. Because these ridges, even though it's powdery, you can still slide on them. If I'm in the gully here, trying to turn or side slip and stay slow, uh, it's impossible to slide. My hip and tail are stuck here. There's not much speed control I can get from here, or it's going to catch all over the place unless so I'm really precise with my movement. So, uh, this is a tactic that I very rarely use in easier woods, I personally, but I'm showing it to everybody so that they can get some more confidence in the woods and not be freaked out by these long C-shaped loose tracks that can cause you to gain a lot of speed. And uh, instead of gaining speed, again, this is our way of learning how to control speed in rough situations, in situations that it's really hard to do. So yeah, as you can see, you can really control your speed in luged out woods by basically rail sliding the top of the berm. It's not always available, but even when it's not available, you can still get pretty close to doing it. But it is extremely helpful in many circumstances while skiing in woods or just general off piece. It, tend it tends not to happen in bump runs, but in the woods in the east, we get these giant luge tracks and uh, they... They're hard for people to navigate if they're not used to the speed. I'm used to the speed, but I'm just trying to show you what I coach some of my students. Uh, thanks for joining me on this episode, and I hope to see you next time. Like, subscribe to Josh's Ski Hacks.